Polly Anderson with Wind Media inside Diamond High School where tonight is a new chapter not only for this school but for this community as Discovery Education STEM Leadership Retreat begins this evening. Right now we have um, Dr. Cindy Moss here with Discovery Education and her team so we are looking at STEM as a culture, not as something that you just plop in, but STEM is in everything. And bringing out that culture is just kind of like uplifting the community, seeing what we can do with our families here, our students, and how we can permeate this area. What we're doing here is so exciting. We're starting something called STEM Formation. It's using STEM to transform teaching and learning. And it's a three-year partnership where we'll provide PD and in-class coaching to teachers, to principals, we'll work with parents. It's all about putting the fun back into fundamentals and preparing our kids for the future. So, so exciting. I'm very excited, especially after hearing about all the careers that are available in California alone and the amount of money that the kids can make with the amount of school that they need to do. It's really exciting for the kids. Some, I wrote down a lot of notes in regards to making sure they know what they can get into and how much they can make because kids are motivated by money now and time because we're in a you know, we're in an age of instant gratification. So the amount of time and money they can put into this, they can get out of it. And the amount of time is really the big thing I think that's going to sell for the kids. How important is it to have STEM here at this high school? Oh, it's super important. I mean, I've been working in this area for the last six years. Um, several schools I've been in and have worked in, I've, I've seen no school that has anything, any kind of programs like STEM. And just seeing the possibilities of how it can help a young child that is, you know, maybe finds certain things difficult or maybe doesn't know their way. I see how STEM can kind of be a part and help them uh, achieve certain goals for themselves. They are the first high school on the West Coast that so people are going to come see them because we believe you can't see what you can't be. And so we're so excited to bring other people to see what they're learning. So over the next couple of years, STEM is really going to be exploding around here. The biggest thing is knowing that there is a huge underrepresentation of minorities in STEM. STEM related careers, a STEM standing for uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. And if we add the arts in there, that as well. So STEAM, STEAM and STEM, and how do we get that going at our school? The kids I'm dealing with are eight, 13 year old kids, and they don't know what they want to do and how to become certain things. The lady I was speaking today, she gave so much information about different jobs that are out there, besides just like a lot of kids I deal with, they want to be rappers or football players and things like that, the stuff they see on TV. One of the things she was talking about was you need to see something to actually be it. And I believe that with STEM, you're actually going to be able to, our kids are going to be able to see people that are me mechanics, um, people that are in engineering, and they'll actually be able to see them and, and be able to relate to them so that they'll be able to achieve certain things. So I'm really happy to see STEM coming to Dimely, and I'm glad our kids are going to be a part of it. That's the most fun for me is to let kids know that whatever skills they have, that they're enough. That if they become a problem solver, they can take their skills, have a good job, and make a difference in the world. And I think kids today, that's really important to them. They want to make the world a better place. As STEM Leadership Retreat comes to an end here at Diamond Lee High School, everyone is excited to put fun back into fundamentals. Reporting for Win Media, I'm Tolly Anderson.